Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to take the uh, texture roller that um, we made in the earlier demonstrations and uh, how to use it on a, um, a pot on the wheel. And so what I've done is I've thrown, uh, I threw this little cup, I put some white slip on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this over, but I, um, I wanted to kind of set the stage first by uh, having a darker clay here as the clay body and then a lighter uh, slip. So this is a, uh, just the Rhodes white slip that we use in the studio. And um, that way when the texture roller goes through the slip, uh, you know, I, I, I'm hoping it'll, um, you know, be able to show the darker value underneath the clay body. So, or the clay body has the darker value. So um, the other thing that I would say is that the slip, it helps to have a little bit stiff. So if you just put it on, and it's really, really wet and slick, uh, sometimes um, the roller won't spin, it'll just sort of drag on the surface. And um, so it's best to let that slip set up just a little bit. Um, I use the torch on this because I'm running short on time, but um, it would be best to actually throw the cup, slip it, then take the bat off, let it sit for you know maybe 20 minutes or so, um, and, then, uh, and then come back to it. So. Um, what I'm going to do, you can experiment with holding it vertical or at an angle. Um, I'm going to try to hold this one at a slight angle here, um, and, um, and then maybe it'll kind of drag across the surface and create a, a different um, surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel, and I'm just going to kind of hold this and um, let the roller kind of drag over the surface like this. And you can kind of start to see the texture developing. I'm holding the inside of the pot here just to kind of support it a little bit. Okay, and so, um, yeah, I might try to kind of hit that little spot down there so you can come back to it. And um, I'll try to get that a little bit lower. And I might push just a little bit harder here and try to get a little bit more distinct line. Okay, like that. And so uh, on this particular piece, what I would then do is I would clean that rim up a little bit. Um, after it dries a little bit, I'll trim the pot. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of just run my hands over the surface and kind of knock off these, um, these sharper pieces here. Uh, I don't want to leave those on there right now, or eventually, because the glaze will separate around that and that'll be really sharp. So, um, so this is just a good way to use a texture roller um, I, here's the roller itself and here's the dowel rod. I just like this pretty simple mechanism, um, you, you know, just holding it in your hand. You could make a, uh, another piece here that would hold that, um, but I like having the freedom to be able to kind of go back and forth with it here. So that's it.